This is question number 11 and it carries three marks. We're told x, y, z is a right angled triangle. We're asked to calculate the length of x, z. We're asked to give our answer correct to three significant figures. So we can use Pythagoras on this. I'm going to say that this will be one of the shorter sides. This will be the other shorter side and this is going to be the hypotenuse. We know using Pythagoras that a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. If we square the two shorter sides and add it together, it gives us the hypotenuse squared. So what we're going to have is 1.35 squared plus 3.25 squared is equal to c squared, or if you like, xz squared. So all I'm going to do is add these together. So we're going to have now 1.35 squared plus 3.25 squared and that is going to give me now 12.385 so we can say 12.385 is equal to c squared so we can say that c is going to be the square root of this so we can say c 12.385 c will be the positive square root and all we need to do is get that answer so if i just square root my answer that's going to give me 3.519. So we can say 3.519. And they want this to uh, three significant figures. Let's just write some of this out. 2 dot 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 is equal to C. So I'm going to round this to three significant figures. The third significant figure is the 1. So I can either have 3.51 or 3.52. I'm going to round it up to 3.52 as we've got a 9 after the 1. So we can say that C is equal to 3.52 metres, and that now is given to three significant figures. So question number 11, three marks in total.